This video is all about building my beautiful new greenhouse. So today is the day I'm going to start setting up my Vitavia greenhouse. Uh, I expect it might take a day or two. I'm doing it by myself and filming makes things take twice as long. So we may as well crack on. The first step I guess is to set up the base. I think my concrete um, slab here isn't 100% level. So what I'll do is I'll set up the base and then we can level the concrete slab later. So the greenhouse is a Vitavia Jupiter 11,500. It's 8 foot 5 inches deep and 14 foot 7 inches long. It's a polycarbonate greenhouse, so it, uh, it uses a 6mm polycarbonate twin wall rather than the typical cheap 4mm polycarbonate twin wall, so um, that should be perfect. As well as coming in polycarbonate, it also comes in uh, horticultural glass and toughened glass, and you can get it in silver, green or black. I believe the green and the black are anodized, but uh, I liked the silver look. The base comes with these right angle brackets which fit into the U-channel and then there's two bolts that go on to each side in the corners. In the middle of the long side there's another piece of U-channel which slides inside the two uh, long lengths and then again fixes on with just four bolts. Now we've got the base down it gives us a really good idea of the footprint of the greenhouse. It was really easy to, to set up the base. There's only six points where lengths connect and in each of those six points there's just four nice solid bolts. So I've left them loose for now. Uh, they will need to be tightened up later but I can see that the concrete base here is definitely not level. The base also comes with these right angle pieces which can be buried to secure the greenhouse in grass or if you're uh, setting it in new concrete. Now it's time to move on to the construction of the main part of the greenhouse. It's really chilly and windy but we best crack on. It says in the first step to build the base, so I did that correctly, and in the second step to build the two long sides, so the two 14 foot 7 inch sides. So we better crack on with that. So the first step is to get all the parts that we need and lay them out ready to be screwed together. So these are the parts that we need, uh, we just other than this need some screws. So now I'm going to lay them out in the way that they're going to be constructed. And now it's just a matter of getting it all screwed together. So I've screwed the bolts in loosely along the top. Then I've pre-fitted the ridgeline braces and the diagonal cross brace is also screwed in now. The majority of the greenhouse is built around the idea of a square bolt head which slides into a channel and then can be screwed onto another part. I found this method to be really simple and efficient. At major structural points within the greenhouse there's these heavy duty aluminium triangular joining bits here. This is where you find the real difference between the cheaper greenhouses and the more expensive greenhouses in the quality of material that they use. Again here you can see the square headed bolts sliding into a channel to fix the, uh, the vertical slats in place. And the ridgeline braces are also a high quality heavy duty aluminium. So I've completed the second half of the greenhouse now, the second of the longest sides. And what I've learned from doing this is it's always best with the Vitavia greenhouses anyway, to start from the top and work your way down. Although it probably doesn't look like it, these parts are now laid out in a way that makes sense to me. So we're building the back of the greenhouse here, so the side without the door. So there's five verticals going along. So what I've done is I've got the middle vertical here, the two respective sides here, and then the two farthest sides on either side here. And there's obviously the ridge of the roof, which comes across here. A beam which comes along at head height or around that uh, sort of area. A top little roof peak here and then the bottom. There's also some other parts here, but now everything makes sense. I just need to make sure it's facing the right way and I can start screwing it together. I found having all the parts laid out really helped to make sense of the construction. So when I was building the sides, I said it would be uh, best to start from the top and work your way down. That's true for the sides, but it seems for the end panel, it's best to start from the bottom. So what I've done is I've started by screwing in this center piece here with the vertical, the two diagonals. Then I've screwed in the next two verticals here as well. I've slid the screws in place for the two diagonals which you need to do before you put in this cross member here and these are starting to be screwed in place now as well and so far it seems to be going quite well I'm quite happy with how easy it is to put together and uh, everything seems very solid. Well the back is starting to get there as well now um, what I've done is I've secured the two eaves points here 
Then I secured the bottommost corners on each side and just now I've done the peak of the roof. I've now completed three of the four sides and I have to say that the skill level involved is very very low. Uh, I think anyone could do this and it's certainly doable to this point at least by just one person. I'm up to step three now which is to build the front of the greenhouse. So we're going to do exactly the same thing as before and grab all the parts we need, lay them out neatly and um, make sense of them before we start. Now one of the great things about this, um, this packaging is that this is step three so all I need to do is go through and look for items that have the uh, sellotape with the number three on there and that should be the majority of the parts that I need and that just makes it so much easier. There's no searching around it's just a bundle with three on. So I've got all the parts for the front of the greenhouse laid out but unfortunately the carpet fit has arrived and some other things need to be done. So I'll probably come back to this project next weekend, but uh, it's only taken four hours or so to get to this point, and at least half of that was filming. So I think uh, to build three sides with making quite a few mistakes by yourself should only take really about two hours, two and a half hours or so. So I'm really impressed with that, and that includes building the base, of course. It's been a week since the last video, so it's time to get started on the greenhouse again. It's been a busy week of renovating and there's been quite a bit of rain, so I haven't come outside much. But um, it's time to crack on, so let's do just that. So this is the door frame complete now. It was quite easy to construct. The way that uh, I did it was to start with either side of the door here, then to move on to the sort of the gutter line, the ridge of the other uh, side of the roof, and then to do the peak of the roof at the top here. And that seemed to work quite well. Once I had those three components in, then I could start tightening everything else up quite easily. The final piece was to do the rails that the doors hung on. And uh, for me, that was a challenge because I had two pieces upside down and backwards. So as soon as I figured out what I was doing wrong, it, uh, it made a lot more sense. So now the next step is to get the sides up. Um, I'm going to try and do it by myself. I think I can do it. I sort of want to prove a point. I've gone so far doing it by myself. I sort of want to prove a point that I can do the whole thing, but if it doesn't work I'll have to recruit some help. But we may as well get started on that. Since I'm trying to build this greenhouse by myself I have to come up with some solutions for holding the frames up. Here for the end frame all I've done is just put a piece of timber on each side just to hold it steady while I get the side frame up. Same thing on the side frame, just in two spaces because it's quite long. Just a piece of timber on one side and a piece of timber on the other side just to keep it up vertical. Here you can see the three pieces of triangular aluminium which hold the side wall, back wall and roof together. So it turns out building a Vita Via greenhouse by yourself is actually pretty easy. I've got all four sides up now and that was not a struggle at all. Um, and it seems really solid now as well. So I'm quite pleased with that. To get the rid of the roof in place as well I also had to come up with some novel solutions because I obviously need to get this beam up high and there's only one of me. But I didn't find that too hard really. It's also held in place with these triangular pieces of aluminium and they're really really solid when they're uh, coming together like this. Well all four sides are up now. It's actually turned into a really nice day and considering it's October that's pretty lucky. One of the final steps of building the main frame here is to put the struts from the top of the roof line down to the sides of the greenhouse. Now that the four sides are up you can see the magnitude of this thing and there's going to be a fantastic amount of growing space. Now I've done everything so far by myself and I'm really really happy with it. It's been really easy. Most of the bolts are still finger tightened so I need to go around and just tighten those up but the whole structure is coming together really perfectly. Everything fits. There's nothing missing. There's nothing you know, that, that doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So let's get started on this portion and then after that we just need to build the uh, the doors and I think then we need to do the glazing. So let's see how it goes. So the top of the greenhouse is almost finished. The way I've been building this is I started with the corner cross braces here and then I've just been doing up two bolts on each of the, the slats all the way along both sides. So that's the, the brace and the slat goes in, into the side here. Um, I haven't done the top bolt yet because there needs to be a cross brace across the, uh, the top which is what I'm going to do right now.
One thing I definitely recommend when building this greenhouse is to slide the bolts into place. Count how many bolts you need before you tighten the top and the bottom because oftentimes you'll need to slide an extra couple of bolts in here and there. Well that's the main part of the frame done. It's gone together really easily, really quickly. I still need to do some leveling of things like these cross braces. I still need to tighten some bolts but that can come when I move it into its final place. It's also time to put the doors together. These are quite simple. There's just two verticals and four horizontals. They're screwed in with, uh, with screws, so I needed a, a power drill here to get those in place. But that really wasn't too difficult. There's also another piece of aluminium which goes along the top, which is what hangs on the, uh, on the door rail. Then there's a ceiling strip which goes down the one side to stop air getting into the greenhouse through the crack by the door. And that's pretty much it. The top of the door just slides into the channel along the top of the door frame and the bottom of the door slides on top of a rail. The windows are also easy to build. It's just four sides with aluminium and then a piece of 4mm polycarbonate glazing. Then they fit on the greenhouse by sliding into a channel along the roof line and then slot into place easily. There's these clips to, to keep the window open or keep the window closed depending on what you're after and this is also where you connect the um, auto opening roof fence. And this is what the greenhouse looks like with the four windows in place. I started some glazing on the second evening but the day was drawing to a close so I decided to finish up and start again the following day. Well, it's day three of building the greenhouse, which is glazing day. I got some started last night, so it's just a matter of finishing it up. It's a little bit windy today, so it'll be interesting to see if it's uh, easy when there's a bit of a breeze, but so far it's not been a problem, so let's get started. We start by sticking a rubber ceiling uh, strip on either side of the glazing panel, and that's easy enough to fit on. There's a channel on the rubber strip, and then there's a ridge on the frame, and you just rub your finger down and it pops on. Then you put the panel in place and you use these glazing clips to hold them down. Now I strongly recommend that you don't use your finger to do this because it will hurt. <laughs> so I've just used a screwdriver to force it into place. This job took a fair bit longer than I was expecting it to. Getting the rubber uh, strips in place can take a fair bit of time. Um, you've obviously got to do each side of each panel, so there's twice as much as you'd imagine. Then the, uh, the glazing clips also quickly get tedious. Now I did make a mistake and I put some panels in the wrong place which then had to come off and go in the correct place but all in all it wasn't a particular di particularly difficult job and again I could do it by myself. So this is the finished greenhouse and uh, I got it done just before the sun went down. So I've had the greenhouse for a couple of weeks now and uh, I'm really happy with it. It's really good quality. There's a huge storm forecast for the UK and you might be able to hear it's a little bit windy at the moment. But uh, I mean, I'm not worried about this greenhouse. It's very solidly built. If I'd gone with a cheaper model, I definitely would have been concerned. In a follow-up video, I'll also be installing power in the greenhouse and that's what I'll be using these Vitavia shelving units for. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe because I have some other things that are going to be going on here. I'll be doing aquaponics in here. I've also bought some horticultural glass and some toughened glass. So I can compare that with the 6mm polycarbonate and some 4mm polycarbonate as well. So we might do a destruction test of that to help you choose what material you want for your greenhouse. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Please subscribe. See you on the next video. Stay tuned for some bloopers. So this was always bound to happen. I've made my first mistake. Um, I may have put one piece on backwards. Um, I just need to flip it over and screw everything back in. So let's just forget this happened. Uh, this time around I made sure all the parts were in the right place and it took probably a tenth of the time that it took to build the first half. I'm going to try and tip the frame up and just shore everything up with the bolts. Let's see how that goes.
So finger tightening might not quite be enough. So I'll need to do something with that. I'm not quite sure what yet. Now we can move on to the construction of the main part of the greenhouse. And so far it seems to be going quite well. There's no way I'm in frame there. final piece was to do the rails that the doors hung on and uh, for me that was a challenge because I had two pieces upside down and backwards so as soon as I figured out what I was doing wrong it, uh, it made a lot more sense.